Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to check out the Ring Alarm. They initially released this last year but was pulled out before they can ship to their customers because of some legal stuff. But now they are finally selling. The reason why I'm excited about this alarm is that you can have professional monitoring for $10 a month or $100 a year. Not only that, if you already have Ring cameras and have signed up for their Protect Plus plan, which is unlimited Ring cameras cloud storage access, then the monitoring is already included. So for 10 bucks a month or $100 a year, all your Ring cameras will have cloud storage for recorded footage, and you don't have to pay extra for the Ring alarm to get monitored. Let's do a quick comparison. Personally, I have a traditional alarm system that was eventually upgraded to have a cellular backup when they realized that the phone landlines are now antiquated. Right now, I'm paying $40 a month. My alarm company has been bought out several times that I have to call them and see when my contract is going to end. For your information guys, when you initially sign up for an alarm company, they will entice you for free equipment and installation in exchange for let's say 3 years contract. Now after 3 years, you think you are out of the contract, but what you don't know is in fine print. It will state that your contract will automatically renew yearly after that. So to cancel the service, you need to know what month it is going to end. Now compare this with Nest Secure. With the alarm kit, it is $400, and if you want professional monitoring, they partnered with Brinks, which you can get monitored for $20 a month, but with a 3-year contract. Also, if you have Nest cameras, you still have to pay for their cloud recording access, which depends on the number of cameras you have. How about Simply Safe? They are the ones who started this DIY alarm systems which their cheapest package is 230 bucks, and monitoring starts at $15 a month. They also have cameras, which to view recorded footage, you have to pay extra $5 a month per camera and they don't have outdoor or weatherproof cameras. Right now, the Ring Alarm is the cheapest in monitoring fee and if you have their doorbell and security cameras, then basically their cloud recording access are already included. So, what are the features? It is a whole alarm system, easy to install, no wiring, sensors are battery powered, keypad have a rechargeable battery, and the base station have a backup battery. It has 24-7 professional monitoring, no long-term contracts, you can cancel at any time, customizable and expandable, you can add more sensors, keypads, and motion detectors. So let's check out what is included in this alarm kit. We have the base station, keypad, motion detector, contact sensor, and a range extender. The alarm can be controlled from the app, which is also integrated with the Ring security cameras. $10 a month or $100 a year professional monitoring. No contract, no tools required. You can use a double-sided tape for the sensors, but you can screw them in to be more secure. Also, if you move, you can easily take everything with you. So let's open up the box. We have the base station, speaker and siren here in the front. And on this side, we have the pairing button, the ethernet and the USB port, Wi-Fi and power lights, and factory reset. On the bottom or the back side, we have the power supply port. The base station has a battery and cellular backup, which is good for 24 hours of monitoring in any event when the power is out. What else is inside the box? We have a ring sticker, an installation flyer, a getting started guide, and a security basics guide. Then we have the keypad, which has big numbered buttons. 
and also comes with the installation bracket. The keypad can either be installed in a wall or placed in a table. Then we have the motion sensor. This is battery powered and uses one CR123 battery. Then we have the contact sensor, which is also battery powered. Then we have a range extender, which you plug in between the base station and the farthest device. Now we have the power supply for the base station. And we have the power adapter to charge the keypad, which needs the micro USB cable. Then we have the motion detector install kit, which has the mounting bracket, mounting tape, screws, and anchors. Then we have the keypad install kit, which only has the mounting screws. Then we have the contact sensor install kit, which comes with a mounting bracket, the magnet, which is the other part of the sensor, mounting tape, screws, and anchors. Time to set it up. First, plug in the base station and wait for it to boot up. If you haven't done it yet, download the Ring app and sign up. If you already have the app, click on the plus sign Setup Device. Choose Alarm. Select your location. Click Continue with Bluetooth Setup. Click the pairing button on the base station. Click Find My Base Station. And you will have two choices here, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. And I'll choose Wi-Fi. And I'll select my Wi-Fi network and type in my password. I'll skip the monitoring setup for now. On the main page of the app, click Add Ring Alarm Devices. So let's set up the contact sensor first. Let's pull the plastic tab on the battery and the base station will automatically configure the sensor. Then we will set up the keypad. I'll plug it in for now. So keep doing this to the rest of the sensors and devices. Turn them on so that the base station will find, configure, and add them to your alarm system. As to the extender, I'll just plug it in an electrical outlet near my front side wall. Now, time to set the devices up. Let's start with the ring contact sensor. Choose if it is going to be a door or window. Give it a name. Assign a room. And time to install it to the door. Screw in the mounting bracket of the sensor first. Then click the sensor in place. Then we need to install the other part of the sensor. Same thing, mounting bracket first. By the way, you can install this by just using the mounting tape. But to make it more secure, I screwed mine in. Make sure the gap is no more than one fourth of an inch. Then test them out to make sure it works. 
Oops, my ring doorbell also got triggered. For now, I'll place the keypad on the small table near my front door. Whenever I cancel my current alarm company and sign up for Ring's professional monitoring, then I'll install this in the place where my current alarm's keypad is. Also, I'll plug this in to charge the battery. So, on the keypad's configuration page, click Continue. Then we need to create our access code. It is a 4-pin number which I'm not going to show you. But I'll just tell you, it is 1234. Anyways, just for testing purposes. Now, time to install the motion sensor. I'll be installing this in a corner, and on the mounting bracket, it has holes to screw it on the edges, which is for corner install. On this though for me, I'll use the double-sided mounting tape. The sensor itself is light enough that the mounting tape is more than enough to secure it to the wall. Make sure it is around 7 feet off the floor and avoid pointing it at heat sources like the stove or windows that get a direct sunlight. Configure the settings of the motion sensor in the app just like the other sensors and test it out to make sure it works and setup should be done. Now, let's test it out. To arm the system, you need to type in your 4 number code and push arm. The alarm will do a countdown of however many seconds you set it up from 30 or up to 3 minutes before the system will arm. It will give you time to get out or if coming back in, time to type in your access code to disarm the system. There is also a push notification to your phone every time the system is armed or disarmed. At night, the keypad will light up so that you'll be able to see the numbers you are punching in. You can also easily arm or disarm the system from the Ring app. Now let's see how loud the alarm would be if it got triggered. You will get notified anytime the system is armed, disarmed, when the alarm got triggered, and even when the sensors are tampered with. So, on the Ring app, on the main page, the alarm controls will be on top, followed by the cameras. If you want to check the history of the alarms and notifications, click the menu on top and click History, and you will see the Alarm tab on top. You will see all the activities of the system and or the sensors. This Ring Alarm Security Kit costs $199 and this is expandable that you can buy extra keypads if you want for $50, extra contact sensors for $20, motion sensors for $30, and extenders for $25. There are other sensors that are coming like the smoke and CO sensor and also flood and freeze sensors. Overall, this is a pretty good system, especially if you already have the Ring cameras and already a subscriber to their Protect Plus plan. When everything is all set up and my current alarm company cancelled, then I'll have at least 40 bucks savings a month. That's it guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon to get notified of new videos that I upload. Product reviews like this video, comparison videos, long-term reviews, and product updates. Thank you.